dummy, stupid, other words of that sort. I'm sure that's how some people might describe me, but I don't see it that way. I see it as being loyal. And I think that's the best word that describes myself, is loyal. And there are a couple of areas of my life that I think best illustrate that. One being my favorite sports team, the other being my job. Now with sports, I'm a huge basketball fan. I grew up in a basketball family. My dad was a high school basketball coach. I was a huge Michael Jordan fan growing up, but I never really had a favorite team. And it wasn't until I was 14 that I decided to follow a favorite team. I was drawn in by the appeal of Vince Carter, who was the then franchise player of the Toronto Raptors. I guess I saw some similarities to Michael Jordan in him, and I became a Toronto Raptors fan. Now, if any of you know anything about the Raptors, you know that we've had some pretty poor seasons, and we've been widely considered as one of the laughing stocks of the NBA. Uh, every franchise player that we've had has bolted the team as soon as they got the chance. Vince Carter, our hero, gave up on the franchise and demanded to be traded. Another superstar, Tracy McGrady, left as soon as he could. And as recently as a couple of years ago, Chris Bosh, who was billed as our next franchise player, jumped ship as soon as he got the chance. We've had poor management, poor decision making, poor drafting, just all kinds of bad luck. But through thick and thin, I've supported the team. It's been about 14 years now that I can call myself a fan. And to me, that's being loyal. And that's what being a fan is all about. I may not know what it feels like to celebrate a championship like other teams' fans do, but to me, it's even better to say that I can, I've can i stuck by this franchise through thick and thin, through all the bad times and what few good times there are, and I'm still here. I'm still a fan. I'm still loyal. Now with my job, I work here on campus at the SMC Bookstore. I've been there for about four years now. I've gotten two raises within those four years, and I've gained seniority over many other workers there. And uh, the bookstore's just been really good to me, so in turn, I'm very loyal to the bookstore. I like to pride myself on being able to say, since I've started working at the bookstore back in 2009, I have not purchased a textbook for any of my classes anywhere else except for the bookstore. Yeah, I know prices can be pretty high there, there are other alternatives, such as Amazon, even the store across the street from campus. But I don't go to those places, because I'm loyal. And another way I'm loyal to the bookstore is that's where I buy my supplies. I don't go to Staples, Rite Aid, any of those other places. If I need supplies, notebooks, pencils, pens, paper, anything like that, backpacks even, I go to the bookstore. That's where I purchase all my supplies. I even buy my sweaters there. I even started to buy my food there since we've started selling lunches such as, you know, small sandwiches and things like that. I purchased my lunch there because I'm loyal. Now, some people, again, like I said, might see that as being dumb or stupid. You know, why follow such a poor sports team like that? Or... Why waste such uh, big amounts of money on textbooks when you can go elsewhere and save money and get it cheaper? Yeah, I could do that, but then I wouldn't be me. I wouldn't be loyal.